Have you ever been told that the food that you're eating has zero impact on your acne? Hmm? Today, I'm going to dispel that myth and share eight medical studies that show the link between food and acne, plus my favorite number one tool for getting really clear on the root triggers of your breakouts. So stay tuned. I'm Jill Therese, and after 15 years of acne struggles, I finally cleared my skin naturally and created my acne clearing program, The Clear Code, to help you do the same. Six and a half years and thousands of clients later, I've made it my life's work to get you clear skin without pills, creams, and or crazy hormones. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. So here's the deal. The internet is a wild place, right? And it can be so confusing to know what is really causing the issues for your skin. Should you do a grapefruit cleanse? Should you, I don't know, use tea tree oil plus, I don't know, clean your pillow every day, right? It, it, it becomes so overwhelming. And that's why I wanted to share this information with you today because I was talking to someone recently who said she had never heard that food and your acne are linked and I like, I gasped. I was, I was in astonishment because they are. Also, I'm kind of a science nerd, but I'm not gonna make it boring for you, but I really want you to listen to this information, take notes, click on the links below, because I never had this information and I had acne for 15 years and it really ruined a lot of things for me. And I wanna be the spark in your brain that kind of changes how you look at the link between your food and your skin, okay? Also, this video is a follow-up to my acne story video. I'll link to it below, but basically, I had bad acne for 15 years, I tried everything, and after my 15th and final dermatologist appointment, I was like, screw this. And I went home and I began a really deep internet dive. And that brings us to this video. I'm gonna start off there on my deep internet dive in around 2010, which is very different than now. So I begin my deep internet dive after 15 years of struggling with my acne and I'm like, screw this, I'm done. And I find Lorraine Cordain's article on, called Acne Vulgaris, a Disease of Westernized Society, Western Culture. And it really got me in the gut. In this article, he shares how he observed two different cultures without any evidence of acne, the Kidavan Islanders of Papua New Guinea and the Ashe hunter-gatherers of Paraguay. There's a link to the article below, but I wanted to pull out a few sentences for you. Observations. Of 1,200 Kitavin subjects observed, no case of acne was observed. Of 115 Ashi, Ashe subjects observed, over 843 days, no case of active acne was observed. Conclusion. The astonishing difference in acne incidence rates between two different cultures cannot be solely attributed to genetic differences among different cultures, but is likely resulting from differing environmental factors. For some reason, these words really shook me because I thought back to high school. I had had really bad acne in high school, right? And about 50% of my classmates did too. And my classmates, I had a really diverse high school class. My classmates were from around the world. So I knew that acne wasn't genetic in that case. I saw it in my daily life that 50% of the people I went to high school with had acne at least. And yet there are these other cultures living in a specific way that didn't have any acne. And that really got me. What was interesting was I actually had a confirmation bias against this information. And by that, I mean, I was predisposed to disbelieve this information. I had grown up, give me a thumbs up and or type yes in the comments below. If you have always heard that your food and your acne have nothing to do with each other. If you've gone to the dermatologist like 10,000 times and you say, are you sure it's not what I'm eating? And they say, no, you're crazy. Give me, type yes below if that's you, because that was me. And so reading through this information, I was predisposed to not believe it because of what I had grown up learning. But for some reason, it just got me. It, it was like everything came together and I realized that what I had been eating was impacting my skin. Another part of the article really stood out to me. I'm going to read it fast, the science-y part, and then I'll say it in plain English. Although diet is infrequently considered as an etiologic agent in the development of acne, it represents a well-recognized factor in acute and chronic hyperinsulinemia. 
Recent evidence has demonstrated that the hormonal cascade triggered by diet-inducing hyperinsulinemia elicits an endocrine response that simultaneously promotes unregulated tissue growth and enhanced androgen synthesis. Hence, hyperinsulinemic diets may represent a previously unrecognized environmental factor in the development of acne via their influence on follicular epithelial growth and keratinization and on androgen mediated sebum secretion. So in English, a diet high in sugar can lead to acne. And so I sat there, right, and I thought about my massive sweet tooth and my love for Doritos, chili dogs, and Starburst. And then I thought about the formation of a zit. Real quick, there are four steps that go into creating a breakout on your face. Number one, the way your normal skin functions without acne are that skin cells are made in your body. They slowly make their way to the superficial layers of your skin until they finally reach the top layer. They die naturally, this is a good thing. And then they're shed by your body to take over, for new cells to take over. This process at the end is called desquamation. It's really normal. Unfortunately though, when you have acne, you have your cells go through a little bit of a different experience. Instead of a normal balanced growth of skin cells, there's an abnormally accelerated growth of the skin cells around the hair follicle. Oil production speeds up, cells in the follicle stick together, and then bacteria gets into the cells and causes a breakout to form. That is in essence what acne is. So I have all this information, right, about how a breakout starts, and I have this information that basically says that a diet high in sugar can lead to excess skin cell growth at the, the pore. And I have my diet and it was like a light bulb went off. And I realized that all of my gut instincts around acne and food and sugar were right all along. And it all started to come together in this like wild tornado in my brain, right? And all I could think was, oh my God, everything that I've known is true. And now it's been over seven and a half years of working with clients to heal their acne naturally. And all of my clients would agree that food and your acne are impacted and that healing from the inside out is really powerful. The next article that I read that I stumbled upon that really hit me in the gut was an article by Dr. Whitney Bow and yes, I forgot his name. And in it, they discussed something that really stood out to me as well. They discussed these two doctors, Donald Pillsbury and John Stokes, and how they had discovered that certain types of probiotics could impact the gut skin access. Over 70 years have passed since dermatologist John H. Stokes and Donald M. Pillsbury first proposed a gastrointestinal mechanism for the overlap between depression, anxiety, and skin conditions such as acne. They hypothesized that emotional states may alter the normal intestinal microflora, increasing intestinal permeability and contributing to systemic inflammation. What? I what? Here's the thing. I was chronically constipated growing up. Chronist, chronically. Number one. Number two, I took antibiotics for my acne for years. Uh, here I am reading about how that can negatively impact your skin over time. Why do doctors give you antibiotics for your acne? Because it impacts your skin. <laughs> and so once I kind of fell down that rabbit hole of the gut skin axis, it was like, <sighs> I read further through the whole article and then to the conclusion where I read, there appears to be more than enough evidence, supportive evidence, to suggest that gut microbes and the integrity of the gastrointestinal the gastrointestinal tract itself are contributing factors in the acne process. And so I just continued down this rabbit hole. I really did. I went deep. And I found the craziest, okay? I found stuff like glycemic load and frequencies of milk and ice cream intake were positively associated with acne vulgaris. Translation, high sugar foods may cause acne. The improvement in active acne and insulin sensitivity after a low glycemic load diet suggests that a nutrition related lifestyle factors may play a role in the pathogenesis of acne. Translation, eating less sugar may mean less acne. Two large controlled trials found that cow's milk increased both the number of people who got acne and its severity. Translation, milk may equal dairy. In addition, foods with higher glycemic index, higher glycemic loads affect serum insulin and insulin like growth factor one levels, both of which increase production of available androgens and the subsequent development of acne aka dairy may affect breakouts. So why am I sharing all this sciencey stuff with you? It is because I never had this information and it changed my life. I remember I used to go to the doctor and there's a history of type two diabetes in my family. So a lot of blood sugar stuff and I had a crazy sweet tooth myself. And I would ask every time, is this related to my acne? Could this be the issue for my skin? And every time they said no. And they were wrong. <laughs> 
and or they just weren't telling me the whole picture. And if you are in a situation right now where you know that you just have this gut feeling that what you're eating, how you're doing things in your life from a food perspective is impacting your skin, please listen to that. And also please go on a deep dive yourself. I have so much compassion and empathy for you right now if you're like pulling out your hair about your skin and I want to be that like spark in your brain that finally gives you some relief around this gut feeling that you have that what you're eating is impacting your skin because it's true. Now that being said, I do not believe that correlation necessarily means causation. By that I mean simply stopping eating cheese and or never eating sugar again, those are not the answer. <laughs> I think sometimes when people begin their acne clearing journey, it's like, well, I'm just gonna have green spinach and salmon for the rest of my life and that's it. And it's not that simple. It's a little bit more complex. No, it's far more complex than that, number one. Number two, I don't ever want you to feel like fear around food. Like I mentioned, oh, I didn't mention this at the beginning, but like it is never just like, one cookie or one chip or one piece of bread. Eat the cookie, okay? It's never gonna be one choice that causes a breakout for you. Do not be afraid of your food. That is not the goal at all. The goal is starting to understand how what you eat impacts your whole body. And again, we just weren't taught this stuff in school, right? Like I didn't grow up in nutrition courses in school. There was like an econ class, right? But I didn't learn about blood sugar management, digestion and hormones, all that stuff. And it's really important to the health of your whole body and your whole life. So if you're here because you're drawn to that, if there's something in you that's like, I just think there's a deeper root issue, you are on the right path. And I know you might be here because you want a different solution. You want to heal holistically from the inside out. So I have a few resources for you, okay? Number one, take my acne root triggers quiz. It's a 30 second, 10 question quiz and it's listed below and it helps you identify the root cause of your breakouts. And then from there, it'll give you three action steps plus three recipes that you can try to really start to heal from the inside out. Also, if you want to apply to join my program, The Clear Code, it's my signature acne clearing program. I would love to have you in it if it is something that is interesting to you. So you can click the link below to find our success stories page for that as well. Also, if you want to join a safe, private, and empathetic group of people struggling with the same things as you are, we have a private Facebook group. So you can find the link for that below other people there are dealing with skin stuff as well, so find the link for that as well. If you like this video, make sure to like, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new one, and subscribe. And also, most important action step that I would love for you to take right now. Do you have a friend, a mother, a sister, a brother, a partner, a bestie, who is really dealing with skin issues, and they need support, and they've tried every topical pill, cream, all the things, and they have a deeper root kind of gut feeling that their skin is linked to what they're eating, but they're not quite sure, please send them this video. I want them to walk through this kind of epiphany that I had and begin their own research so that they can start to take action in a way that works for them, okay? I'm so happy to have you here and I'll see you in the next vid.